Let's level up your custom Copilot on Teams with GPT models from Azure OpenAI connected to your data for instant analysis. Then let's explore AI content moderation and more using the Teams AI library to build Azure the AI Dragon, a role-playing adventure game and fun example. Welcome back to 5-Minute Copilot and let's build it. Azure the AI Dragon highlights your custom Copilot's creativity in blending diverse data sources into a cohesive story with in-depth analysis. The Teams AI library transforms this into a conversational experience while enriching it with adaptive cards and other features available to all of your Teams users. You can see here that the data provided matches well with their sources that contain an entire fantasy world while the moderation filters out undesirable responses. To build Dragon and Teams, we start with the Teams Toolkit extension for Visual Studio Code and follow the guide linked in the video description for prerequisites. Now, open up the terminal and clone the Teams AI library repository. Next, open the JS folder and run yarn install and yarn build commands. When that's done loading, all the samples are ready. Our game plan is to open and build off the ChefBot sample by bringing code from the AI chat moderator and adaptive card samples. Now rename sample.env to .env and you can see Chef now has a spot for Azure OpenAI keys. Now we can go over to Azure OpenAI Studio to deploy our models. We'll need two models here, one for chat like GPT-35 Turbo and one for embedding our data like text embedding ADA. And then we can go over to Resource Management in Azure to find our keys and endpoint. Then we can paste in our Azure OpenAI key and endpoint. And we'll need to update the config file with what we named our model when we deployed it. Here we can also choose the maximum amount of tokens allocated to our model to manage the costs. Then we need to update the index file with our model name as well. And you could press F5 here to play with ChefBot. Now we're going to implement the Azure AI Content Safety Moderator. We start by importing the moderator classes, and the Teams AI library's flexibility enables you to use any moderator API you choose. Next, we'll add the moderator to the application, and enter in the code. There's four different categories of behavior it checks against for guardrails for your API. You can customize the threshold for each category from low, medium, and high, and add block lists too. Then we're going to go down and replace the flag to import action with a custom message. This one specifies the reason why the message was blocked. And last, we can go back to our environment file and add in the moderator key and endpoint. And to create your content safety key and endpoint, you go to Azure under content safety, create your resource, and then click on the resource to see your keys and endpoints. It's easy to make your custom Copilot visually engaging with adaptive cards. We create a card folder with a file to export cards and then another file for our adaptive card. The I'm back action works well at the bottom of your adaptive card to suggest the user what to ask Copilot with the click of a button. Back in the index file, we import the card as a function. Last, we can add in a trigger message which will return the adaptive card when spoken in the conversation. And here, that is the phrase character card. In the escape prompt file, insert your model's instructions from simple to very specific based on your requirements. This file is also where you can script dynamic interactions, like have Copilot generate suggestions and follow-up questions for the user. Now let's connect Dragon to your data by building a new local vector database for the model to pull from. We can delete the Teams AI folder which has the existing database. In the Teams AI links file, we can paste new links to our local or web text-based files we want to use. Other file formats can be converted with online tools beforehand. Now we rename vector.keys.azure.example file to vector.keys, enter in our Azure key endpoint and the name you gave your embedding model when you deployed it. So now you can open up the terminal and install Vectra. From there you can go to the index folder where you can start building your database. I recommend calling it teams-ai. If you choose another name you'll go need to go in the index and config files to update the names that are referenced there. And then we can call in Vectra to use our links and key to then build a local vector database. When that's done, press F5 to load your custom Copilot back into Teams and let the games begin. I like Copilot's second suggestion to talk to the locals of Tokyo and try out our Japanese. And look at that, with language localization built in, your AI speaks every language. Now anyone with any Teams license in any language across the world can use your custom Copilot. All you have to do is build it. Congratulations on building Azure the AI Dragon, and thanks for watching another 5-Minute Copilot video. 
subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, and check out the links in the description below to learn more about the Teams AI library. Be sure to check out all the other samples we have, and I hope you have fun building your custom co-pilot. Till next time, see ya.